Now, Joshua Bardwell, I was calling you all the names under the sun after this video. Oh, Ernie, that's something. And I was probably calling a lot of other people all the names under the sun after this video because I believe that analog could not fly with DJI. I'll show you me getting knocked out the sky. So I owe you a big apology. I know I left comments. They weren't nasty, but they were saying, no, just doesn't happen does not work <laughs> yes it does we are 20 feet apart and as long as you follow these rules you will get analog video quality this good so in this video it's only going to be two minutes long but you're going to learn something <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Not one bit of interference as it flew by. Keep watching and you'll see how. So let me show you the kit I was using and I'm gonna walk you through the procedures that we took just to get flying and literally brilliant analog quality. Okay, so on my Diatone F4, I'm using a Rush FPV, the, the 20 by 20 Mini, 800 milliwatts. All you need to know is that it's got a VAS antenna, it's got a Canex Retail 2 on the front, so the goggles I'm using, I haven't got the antennas on at the moment, but that really doesn't matter. Okay, so on these goggles, uh, on the steady view, on mix one, mix two, or mix three, you have to wait a second till it binds to the quad and you hear a bleep, okay? So what you wanna do is get the DJI pilot not to do anything, not to put any of his gear on or anything. You wanna power up your stuff on race band one. 800 milliwatts is what I was at. So on the screen you can see I've got beautiful clear analog and I'm about to take off. But he's powered on his goggles and they are transmitting, okay? So they are transmitting now on the public band, interfering with me and he is changing it. You see how the bands have got like a little separation at the bottom? okay his quad is not powered on yet right now i am saying to him okay i can see interference yet so i will fly low and you move to channel seven so he switches to channel seven and look it clears up and here comes the bit i was worried about he bugs his drone in and i fall out the sky Bye. <laughs> so this is where I play the whole bit so you know there's no funny editing going on right so basically he's downed me he's on seven we're at opposite ends of the spectrum right race band one his his seven and his quad is now bound. Your teeth are sharp, yet your smile is so kind. The biggest monster, yet you hide in plain sight. Your wolf in sheepskin. Wolf in sheepskin. So if you are getting knocked out the sky and this is happening to you, I suggest you do exactly what I'm doing and, and fly low so you can just disarm it over grass. I flew in front of him loads of times, bypassing, bypassing him and nothing. Now all you DJI pilots, this I don't know why, but I can't, I can't say DJI clearly when I'm saying it fast. But anyway, all you DJI pilots, 
this is what analog pilots see. And this is why we put action cameras on the top. So this is from the run cam thumb on top of my drone. And this is in 4.3, 1440 at 60 frames per second. So let's recap. Just watching the nice gyroscope. Bye.